Hello, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to find the determinant for a 2x2 two two and a 3x3 three three matrix. Now one thing we need to know is that to find the determinant of like any matrix, it has to be what's called a square matrix, but obviously we're looking at 2x2 two two and 3x3 three three matrices, so it's obviously a square matrix. So let's start off with 2x2 two two and say I have a generic matrix A, which could be written as A, B, C, D. To find the determinant of A, or we could write it as the debt of A like this, or we could also write it like this. What I'm going to do is elements A and D multiplied together and then subtract elements B and C multiplied together. So it's equal to AD subtract BC. Pretty easy. So let's look at an example. So say we have another 2x2 two two matrix, say M, which I could write as 2, 1, 3, 4, for example. Then the determinant of M or the debt of M we could find as doing 2 multiplied by 4, so 8 subtract 1 multiplied by 3, which is 3, and we get the determinant of matrix M is 5. So that's pretty straightforward. So for a three by three matrix, it's not too much trickier. There's just some extra steps. So say I have a generic three by three matrix B, which I could write as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. And then the determinant or the debt of B. Well, the way we work it out is we take element A, so the top left element, and we multiply it by what we call the minor determinant of A. And we can find that by eliminating the rows and columns that element A is in. So for example, this row, this column. And you can see we're left with these four elements here. And they make up what's called the minor determinant of A. So we find the determinant of E, F, H, I, as, a, as if it was a two by two matrix. Next, we are gonna take element B and subtract it. So subtract element B and we multiply element B by its minor determinant, so the minor determinant of B, which can be found by eliminating the rows of that element B is in, as well as the column element B is in. So you can see it leaves DG and FI, so we're gonna find the determinant of that, so D, F, G, I. And finally, we're gonna take element C, so we're gonna add element C and multiply it by its minor determinant, which can be found the same way, so eliminate the rows and columns element C is in, and then we find the determinant of what's left, so D, E, G, H, like that. Now, I guess I can write it down. So this would be the minor determinant of A, this one here. This would be the minor determinant of B, okay, and, and so on, right? Hopefully that makes sense. And when it comes to finding the inverse of a matrix, a three by three, we can find the minor determinant of say element D, and it works the same way, okay? So we'd be eliminating the rows and columns of element D, and you can see we're left with this but that's for my future next video. So let's have a look at an example. So say we had the matrix N that we could write as two, four, three, six, two, eight, and two, four, six. And we wanna find the determinant of N. So I'm literally just gonna use this formula up there, substitute everything in, and we'll see what we get. So I'm gonna take element two multiplied by its determinant, so, or minor determinant, so two, eight, four, six. Then don't forget the next one is a subtraction, so I'm gonna subtract four multiplied by its minor determinant, so two, eight, two, six. And finally add on three multiplied by its minor determinant, so six, two, two, four. So let's calculate this. So we're gonna get two multiplied by, well the minor determinant is two multiplied by six, so 12. Subtract eight multiplied by four, which is gonna be 32. Then I'm gonna subtract four multiplied by, well, six times six is 36. Subtract eight times two, which is 16. And finally, three multiplied by six times four gives me 24. Subtract four. And so we get two multiplied by negative 20 minus four multiplied by positive 20 plus three multiplied by positive 20. So, whoops, when we work this out, we're gonna get negative 40, subtract 80 uh, plus, what is that gonna be, 60. There we go, I struggled there. And so when we work all of that out, we get negative 60 as our determinant of matrix N. Hopefully it was useful. If it was, go over to my channel for tons of other tutorials. I'll put my matrix uh, playlist in the description so you can look at all the other matrix videos that I'm making. Um, so yeah, hopefully it was useful.